DC Multiverse! Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad the DC Universe Geek, and today, why don't we have a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, The Signal, Duke Thomas. For those of you interested in what the packaging looks like, I always put it at the beginning for folks, just so they can get a little peekaroo at what the character comes in. Out of the packaging, we can see that he comes with his two Eskrima sticks with the spring-loaded batchet blades, and of course, a trading card with an image of Duke Thomas on the front, and a data file on the back, and an action figure stand as usual. McFarlane toys with this one pretty much knocked it out of the park. This guy looks perfect. He looks so good. He's an excellent representation of the source material. And I really, really like the look of this particular character's superhero costume. It's realistic, but also comic booky at the same time. If you're not familiar with Duke Thomas, the emblem on his chest for this particular suit design, which if you're paying attention, actually does not really match that of the trading card, actually has that reflective bat on the front, as this particular design was intended to have. These shoulder pauldrons are nice and soft. They don't really move out of the way, as you'll see later. Like, really, that's all you're going to get up. But we'll cover that later in the articulation segment. But the armor really looks just so, so good. Sometimes new character suits are designed and they're kind of like, meh. Other times you just walk away going, wow, they did a good job with this one. They really thought about it. Even the details on his back right here with the lines, they're accurate to the source material as well. His gauntlets actually look like this in the source material with the black spacing right here. They actually copied the source material pretty much perfectly with this figure. But you know what I'm going to talk about as well. Not just the accuracy. I love the texturing. I love that. I love the fact that you don't just get a naked, you know, smooth figure all the time. They put texturing where texturing needs to be. I really, really like that. This is just so well done. His Batchet Eskrima Sticks, I would really argue at this point they're just Batchets. They're not really Eskrima Sticks. In the source material, they really are just, well, Eskrima Sticks. With little spring-loaded Batchets, as I mentioned. But these clearly have a shape that is, well, not like that of an Eskrima Stick. Oddly enough, if you want something more comic accurate, then you'll have to get your hands on the Frischer Price Imagine Next The Signal. <laughs> they're huge on him, and they're actually in scale with the McFarlane Signal, and they're comic accurate. The face sculpt for Duke, with his helmet and bat-shaped face plate, the triangular eyes, is perfect. No complaints whatsoever. I think this looks absolutely perfect. As far as comparisons go, I have, as you've already seen, the little Imagine Next version, the Mattel DC Multiverse version, that's from We Are Robin, and I have the Dark Knight's death metal version of Duke Thomas. Also, here is how he scales with some of the Bat family. So if you're looking to see how well he is going to stand in with them, is he going to look okay with them on the shelf? Well, there's, there's what you get. Now, the next question for me, and I know for a lot of you folks at home, it will be, how articulated is this figure? Well, you'll find that the head sculpt actually gets a pretty darn good range there. Like, you can look way down, and his range looking up, well, I suppose, move it all the way, Eh, that could be better, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, so a lot of motion there with the head. The shoulders are definitely not a high point because, as you can see here, we got these shoulder pauldrons, and they don't really make way that much for posability there. You're going to have to, I don't know, but that just looks weird because then you have the pauldron in the armpit. So you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of that articulation with this figure if you want to have those big pauldrons. I mean, I suppose they could have been done like Mr. Freeze's. Mr. Freeze's move right out of the way. He also is going to have a full range of motion 360 with the bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows that are perfectly crunchy. The rounded slash sculpted hinges in the wrist that give an entirely full range of motion. A torso that is on that rounded joint. 
that also gives a nice full range of motion and waist articulation. Combine those together, a fairly good forward crunch and a fairly good backward crunch. Now when you do move them forward all the way, you'll notice that that kind of looks ugly, I suppose, but it just, it is what it is. And then you've got down here, nice full range of motion from McFarland's typical way that he approaches attaching the legs to the body, that groin. Will there be, is there any, ah, uh, this is the one thing that I always want to see more of. I always want to see more of this motion because that really does mean something. It counts. It does help with the posability. You've got double jointed knees, crunchy enough. And then I really like Todd's approach to the ankles on this character. I want to see more of this, exactly like this, where it's sculpted right into the figure. And yet at the same time, it's completely and fully posable. That that, if you ask me, for McFarlane, is a perfect way to do a rounded hinge, just like that. And of course, it's gonna pivot, and he's got the toe articulation. So overall, they really did the character of Duke Thomas Justice with this figure, and I really wasn't certain we were ever going to see a version of this character in the yellow suit ever made, because he's not really an A-lister. Some would argue not even a B-lister. If you're a Batman fan and a fan of all things Bat Family, then of course you're gonna argue he's at least a B-lister, but to the average comic book reader, they probably don't even really know much about who Duke Thomas is. I'll admit, I could know more about him. So I really think that they've done the look of the character of Duke Thomas's The Signal justice with this figure. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for this figure for today. So thank you so much for tuning in and reviewing this figure with me. And I will see you with the next one. Have a DC day, everybody. And take care.